creator, program director of Shorehaven. I uh, started the program about three years ago. Um, really just, it was something personal for me. Uh, growing up and being an adolescent, I really looked to music um, as my safe haven. When I uh, got out of college, I just had this idea that, you know, music is a really powerful tool um, all across the world. and. Many people can relate to music and uh, so many kids, just as I was when I was a child, have a difficult time in expressing themselves. And uh, I was like, wouldn't it be cool if uh, you could take music and somehow use it as an expression? First time I heard about the program, the music program, the idea was during Jazz He mentioned that he had taken kids to a studio and they had recorded music. And the thing that appeals to me about that is that it sends a message to kids that they can be creative, that, that that's open to everyone. The program for me, when I first came into it, I was 18. And I like when I first started rapping, I just did it for fun. I used to write songs and everything, me and my brother. But now, but when I met Jeff, Jeff, he actually kind of gave me some passion for it. He let me, he, he brought out the passion that I had inside for it. First, I thought of it as a hobby, but now, the more I started working with him, the more interest that I seen in it, and the more I wanted to make it a career. When we was doing the song, we had no idea that Jeff had connects like that. Seriously, he actually got a produ a, a director from Los Angeles, you know, Hollywood, to come out here and he shot the video for three days for free. You know, I really love him for that. What up, Chris? Miss you, man. Hope to see you soon. But um, yeah, he came down and he shot the, the, the video for three, like 12, 15 hour days. It was hard, but. You know, that really meant a lot to me, especially like he didn't know us, we didn't know him, and for us to know us just through our music, just that one song, he's like, oh, I gotta come out here, I gotta do a video for this. That really meant a lot to me. That, that meant like, okay, there's actually somebody out there that really like us. Hi, Brian Clark here at Kimspell Recreational Center, where 30 bands inside are competing for a promotion and recording prize of $5,000. Now, it may sound like your typical battle of the bands, but it really isn't. The people behind this competition are a former children's advocate and a group of formerly homeless teens. They hope to professionally produce music in order to help other homeless teens or at-risk youth. Jeff Rimmer, the co-owner of Broken Barrier Studio, which put on the competition, always loved music and tried to produce his own while he worked as a children's advocate at the Samaritan Shelter in Virginia Beach. So I was doing both of that at the same time, so when I got to Samaritan House, I kind of just came up with the idea, let me try this out as far as um, putting a studio together, a little makeshift studio, and uh, bring the kids in and see what happens from them, see if there's any kind of therapeutic process with that. Yeah, Jeff Roy and Tony, yeah, they give me the beef back off with you, hey, cause I'm feeling that heat. It didn't take long for Rimmer to realize that he was on to something. The kids would come in excited, they had something to look forward to during the week. Um, if it was just once a week we were doing it, it was something they would always be there for. It's something they would work on at home as far as writing lyrics for it and getting focused on it. And um, Basically, it was a safe place for them to be. Kids as young as 12 come here to rap, and most come from area shelters or have been homeless at one point in their life. You gotta keep it fast, you wanna win this race, so keep your skin. They sing about everything from life in a shelter to family to the war in Iraq. And when they walk out, they say they feel a sense of relief. Yeah, when Jeff came to us, he was like, yeah, I finally get this all off my chest. Cause that was like maybe the worst time of my life when we were homeless. But I just need to release some stress and the songs are made a lot better. And talking, with, talking about it to people because I'm like, I'm very shy. So when I talk to people, I'm nervous a lot. My name's Dr. Alice Twining. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist. And I've been working with children at risk since 1975. And I've been involved with the Shore Haven Project for many years now and really support the goals of the project and the methods. Uh, the goals of the project are to help develop self-esteem in children, to provide them structure with their lives, which are sometimes chaotic, 
and to help them develop their talents so that they can have artistic expression, so that they can have a vehicle for expressing their emotions, so that they can learn job skills, and so they can be contributing members of society. I think Shorehaven is a way that has been very effective in helping children heal from previous traumas or from family discord. Uh, I've heard some of the children talk about their experience and they have seen in Jeff and the other adults working at Shorehaven very positive role models and effective leadership. Uh, the adults working with the children have also provided them with ways that they can be leaders and produce and learn to engineer and write and perform their own music which has been very, very therapeutic for the children. It helps them, through the vehicle of music, really express themselves, express all of their emotions, express some of their needs and some of their desires in life. Music to me is my passion. Music is self-expression. Music isn't always about the loudest bass or how fast that guy did the drums. It's about what you feel from your heart. And that can itself, as an artist or a producer, as an artist, it'll help it'll from you spit it from the heart. Music is a very powerful, powerful voice. Music itself, not even without the artist speaking on it. Just, I can listen to an instrumental because I like the way it sounds and I like to listen to the music just to get an idea of what that person was thinking about when they was making that song.